Hello, good morning. I hope that you're all well and that you've had a good week. Ray and I, we had a fabulous week. We had a couple of days away in one of our favourite hotels in Devon and we took the boys with us and they were such good dogs. They behaved perfectly in the hotel and the restaurant. Um, the weather was very cold but most importantly it was dry so we managed to get in a lot of lovely walks which the boys really enjoyed and we needed to walk because oh my gosh we ate so much the food is delicious in this hotel um, I think I need to do a bit more walking to lose what I put on with all that food Let's talk about needlework, because after all, that's why uh, you tune in to the Floss Tube. I have been bursting to share with you um, Lucy Barber. Now, this is a Bobby Dazzler of a sampler. It's stunning. Um, Lucy obviously loved the colour red. She used red at every opportunity. There is so much... Um, colour and life in this sampler. She was obviously very diligent with her needle because she covered her fabric. There's not uh, really much space to put anything else into this sampler. It's got a beautiful strawberry border. I love the touches of salmon and orange that you get through the sampler. The orange is very mellow and it makes the whole sampler zing. I stitched this sampler and I got so much pleasure from it. These flower heads, are, they are just divine. They really, really are. They're so beautiful. And these are the colours that are on the front of the sampler today. The sampler has really held its colour. Um, the dye that was used on the threads must have been a very good quality one. It's so beautiful. Love, love, love this sampler. Now, um, Lucy Barber is a limited edition exclusive for traditional stitches. Um, for the last um, two years, we have um, provided traditional stitches with a limited edition exclusive for which they've run a stitch along. The first one was Anne Morrison and the second one was Esther uh, Blackwood and Esther is just coming uh, to the end um, and Lucy Barber will be the continuation sampler for Traditional Stitches annual stitch along. Now um, the sampler is only available from Traditional Stitches website but if you live outside of Canada and the US we will be shipping charts only from the UK so that uh, you can take advantage of the uh, Royal Mail's postal rates, which are less than Canadian shipping rates. Now, um, there's a lot of information on Traditional Stitches website about this sampler. Um, they have got a limited number of mini beans thread rings of the stroke scissor fobs and these are an ex a design that is exclusive for this stitch along and to get um, a thread ring stroke scissor fob um, you need to purchase all three items that's the chart fabric and threads um, now i want to get this right um, Traditional Stitches um, will start shipping the um, supplies for Lucy on January the 1st. Um, and, you know, it, it actually takes a store a long time to pack up um, orders uh, for um, these stitch alongs. They're very well supported and it does take them a little while to get them all packed, but they hope to start shipping. Um, after the 1st of January. Uh, let's have a look, what else do they say? Um, okay, the stitch count is 274 stitches by 317. It's a nice size sampler. Um, Lucy stitched a sampler in cross stitch over two threads and some satin stitch on these flower heads. But 
on the letter S in the verse, um, she squidged in her S's. So some of her S's are um, two stitches wide by one stitch high. Now, if you want to stitch this sampler on Ada, we will be offering um, an adaptation of the letter S when it appears in the verse so that you can actually stitch this sampler on Ada if you wish. Now, um, Janice is offering Soir 103 Silks, Soir d'Alger and DMC Thread Packs. Um, the linen that we used on this sampler was from Tabby Cat Linen and it was Wood Smoke. Beautiful linen and um, very, very pleased how the colours sit on that linen. Um, the stitch along um, will be run by Rose Heck, who ran um, the Anne Morrison and the Esther Blackwood stitch along. And um, they're aiming to start the stitch along on Valentine's Day. Um, I hope that you join us. It's going to be a fabulous stitch along. I think everybody who's joined in with the Anne Morrison and the Esther Blackwood stitch along have had great fun. Uh, every month, um, Janice and Rose have done uh, a video and there's been a lot of participation in the, the Facebook group that is set up for traditional stitches stitch along. But, you know, you don't have to stitch the sampler as part of the stitch along. You can, um, you know, stitch it in your own time in the way that you want. The stitch along is there if you're looking for companionship and to make new friends. Um, enjoy her. She's a beautiful, beautiful sampler. OK, so um, I've got Martha Guthrie here. Now, Martha, this is the original sampler. Somebody is going to be winning this sampler very soon. For those who participated in the Esther Blackwood stitch along, um, everybody who finished uh, Martha will go into a draw to win the um, antique sampler. This was uh, my... Uh, model of Martha. Now I stitched Martha on 56 count, which is a much higher uh, fabric count than uh, the original sampler, but I was thrilled with the reproduction. Um, the colours are a wonderful match to the original. So pretty. Um, this sampler hangs in my kitchen and I really do enjoy looking at her. Very, very pretty sampler. And this sampler is available as a download on the Hands Across the Sea Samplers um, website. Okay, so I've had some goodies come in the post this week. Um, the most exciting one for me was the um, parcel that came with some Kahana products in. Um, my new scissors came and um, they're beautiful. It's a really, really lovely colour. Um, it's like a mushroom colour to me. Really lovely. Very, very pretty. And it makes um, a nice sort of addition to the rest of the range. I miss the blue ones. I wish, wish, wish I, ha I had bought the blue ones. I mentioned them on a floss tube and then I went to buy them and they'd all gone. Um, these are really, really beautiful, love them. And um, I've got to choose a scissor fob to go on these. Um, I'm not quite sure what, but I'm gonna um, have a scissor fob uh, that's perfect for these samples. I'm gonna speak to Sue of Mini McBeans to make one. Um, with Kahana, I am so pleased with these scissors. My first pair of scissors um, were these red ones and oh my gosh, they have had so much use um, and they stand up to um, use. These are robust scissors. Um, I've dropped them countless times. Um, 
but you know they haven't been damaged by dropping on my stone floor it's terrible um i try to put my scissors in my uh, spool holder every time i use them but sometimes i put them on my lap and i forget about them then when i stand up they fall on the floor but um these are robust um and do you know what? they look as good as new they're really beautiful um I love the Monsieur Roulet scissors, but they're not ones that you can use every day where um, these are. And they are so sharp and the blades are so fine. You can get right down to that base of the thread that you're snipping off. Really, really pleased with these. I would recommend Kahana scissors to anybody. Um, now, um, I also had something else come as well and it's this beautiful box kahana um, do a range of these boxes and they have different um uh, tops on them some beautiful beautiful colors and i have to admit i really stopped and had to think long and hard which one i wanted and now this has come i think i'm going to buy some more um boxes are so useful for storing things and i like to have pretty boxes. Nothing looks nicer than an arrangement of boxes on a shelf in your sewing studio. Um, the box is cardboard, a very strong cardboard, and the uh, top is beautifully um, covered in all these different fabrics. I had to choose the red. Um, inside the box, you have a um, little top um, shelf which is ideal for keeping your threads, uh, your spools in. And in the bottom, you have um, quite a bit of room to store things in. So it makes actually not only um, really nice storage, it actually makes a really lovely sewing box as well. Um, and it just sits, um, there's like a little groove where this sits on and you can slide this um, back and forth so you can access what's in your box um, quite easily. Very, very pleased with this, and I'm going to have to order some more. Sort of fancy in that beautiful lime green. Um, very, very nice. Anyway, if you go to the Kahana website, um, you will see these um, listed. Very, very pretty, and I'm very pleased with that. Um, talking about storage. Um, I love my hand and lock cases and um, yesterday I was browsing on Facebook and you know it's lethal to browse on social media on the needlework sites. Um, Hobby House Needlework posted um, some beautiful um, new cases that they've got from hand and lock and that lavender case is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and i loved the um zipper pull charm that uh kathy had made uh, especially for the um for the cases absolutely gorgeous now the new colors from hand and lock are that beautiful lavender and black and Inside the cases, you've got this beautiful Liberty uh, fabric lining, um, beautiful pattern, beautiful colours. And, you know, it's so Liberty. <laughs> you know, you look at that fabric and, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is Liberty. Um, I hope Ray's going to watch this floss tube because, you know, if you're looking for things for Christmas, Ray, you know, that's something that I would very, very much like. <laughs> But I've got to have a zipper pull. <laughs> that little zipper pull on the lavender one is divine. Talking about Hobby House, um, I'm going to be at Hobby House the first weekend of November in 2023, together with Claudia Dutcher Kitzler for a weekend workshop and the workshop is going to be absolutely fabulous we had a great one this year but i have a feeling that the one for 2023 is going to be even better um, claudia and i have got some really lovely projects 
for the workshop. Um, the workshop is called With Needle and Thread and um, I very much hope that you will come along and enjoy Hobby House Needleworks hospitality for the weekend. We have a really amazing itinerary for the workshop. Now, last um, the last workshop, which was at the in October um, this year, when Kathy and David uh, released the places, um, it actually sold out in just over one minute. So I want to give everybody the heads up that Kathy and David at Hobby House Needleworks will be releasing places for the workshop this coming Wednesday at midday on. Eastern time. So if you're interested in coming along to the workshop, um, we're going to have two fabulous samplers plus something that's very, very special and exclusive to that workshop. It will never be made again. Um, look out for or put in your diary 12 o'clock midday Eastern time this coming Wednesday and get your place. Um, we, there's a new technique that we're going to be learning uh, for um, stitching on samplers. Very, very excited. And Claudia's um, uh, project is very exciting as well. Um, okay, so what else have I got to talk about? Um, I know that a lot of you follow follow um, Erna Hiscock on Facebook. Um, Erna is an antique dealer and she specialises in samplers. Now, Erna is featured in uh, the Homes and Antiques magazine for December of this year. And there is a fabulous article showing Erna's new home. And um, what I love is that you get to learn a little bit about Erna, but you also get to spot some of her fabulous samplers um, in the photographs. Look at that for a gorgeous, sample. well, two gorgeous sampler walls, very, very pretty. Um, this is a lovely magazine if you enjoy, um, you know, homes and antiques. There's some lovely inspirational ideas about, you know, arranging your home and accessorising your home in this magazine. I don't know if it's available outside the UK, um, but yeah, this is a good one. Very much enjoyed reading uh, the article on Erna. Um, this week, um, whilst I was going to stitch when I was away, I never actually got round to doing any stitching. So the last two nights, I have worked um, very hard on my Greek sampler. Yes, it was Greek. A lot of you uh, realise that this um, font at the top um, is part of the Greek alphabet. Um, it will continue as I fill in the lines. Um, with this border, she did some funny things on this border. If you can see here, she dived inwards and you have to be very careful when you're counting this border out. So um, when I showed you this sample last, I'd done this sort of top bit and I was starting to work down. So I worked down this side, put in these rows across, and then I had a guideline as I dropped down to make sure I was matching up. So I worked my way down, put in uh, one or two letters in each side to get my spacing correct. Then I was able to complete the border and I have worked back up. Um, it's really nice to be working on um, something a little bit different. And I've really had to be careful because um, it's a, a, an alphabet and a font I'm not familiar with, so I've really, um, you know, had to um, be careful when I was charting her, but also, more importantly, when I was stitching her. That's very pretty, and my brain is already worrying about what frame I'm going to have for the sampler. Um, yeah, very, very pleased with that. Um, 
Yesterday, um, I released a new batch of uh, wooden um, needlework products, and this is a lovely magnetised pin tray made out of you. They're so beautiful, they're so organic. The shape of the um, dish is determined by the piece of wood that it's carved out of. Um, and um, this is a gorgeous piece of you, really beautiful. Um, this is Tobias. Um, he is a chubby mouse. Um, he's um, been eating the cheese. <laughs> He's a bit like me this week. I ate far too much. There we are. Um, so that's Tobias and the pin tray. Now, when I put these up, they literally sold out within five minutes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have any more before Christmas, but in January, I will have more of these and I will put them on my website and I will put um, a post up on social media um, when they are available. They're really, really pretty. Yesterday we had pin dishes and alt bowls. And I almost forgot to talk about Alice Tippett. Do you remember last week I showed you my finish of um, Alice? Love this little sampler. Now, we knew that Alice died very young um, and I had sent off for her death certificate and it came this week. Alice died at age 13 from diphtheria. We are so lucky to live when and where we do. You know, we have access to good sanitation, good food and good medical services. It must have been so hard um, years ago um, when people were not so fortunate. Now, the other thing that came uh, this week was a book on the parish of St. Irving, um, which was where Alice lived. She lived in the hamlet of Penrose. And this book gave so much information about the Tippett family. They were um, Bible Christians um, and um, Alice's father and her uncle actually physically built um, the um, the Methodist chapel in the parish of St. Irvin. Um, this little girl on the front cover, she married um, Alice's brother. And um, there is, uh, let's find it. Um, there are Alice's uh, brother and sister's birth certificate uh, shown um, in the book. And if I can find it, here we go. This was the needlework teacher that taught um, Alice. And this is Alice's older sister. One of these two girls here is probably Alice. And I'm sorry, I can't say which one. Um, but we do know for a fact that this was her older sister and this was her needlework teacher. I love finding out information about the, the girls that stitch these samplers. It, it's what makes reproduction samplers special. Um, OK, I think that rounds up um, the floss tube for this week. Um, my husband is off playing golf this morning. Uh, he had a shotgun start at 8.30. It wasn't even properly light at 8.30. So um, he should be in by about 12.30 and I'm going to go and join him for lunch up at the golf club today. Um, OK, um, Lucy... I hope you enjoy her. She is truly a Bobby Dazzler of a sampler. Um, until next week, stay safe, stay well. Bye-bye.